what is this puja? Why are why are we doing it? And what is the what is the procedure here? You will see the talasam, a pot with string around it. That string is called nadi. Represents the nervous system of the deity that you are going to invoke into that kalasam. First order of business is to install the kalasam, the pot, so that it can remain, it can receive puja. When you install the pot, the hydrosphere on the planet, water, Varuna is invoked. You will hear names for Varuna being chanted. You will hear the names of at least 21 sacred rivers in India being chanted. After Varuna has been duly installed, the water is pure enough now to receive deities. First deity that is going to be installed there is Mahaganapati. He will be installed in this place. Our tradition dictates that Ganapati is going to be invoked with Lakshmi. Lakshmi. You will hear Sri Sri Patya, this is the Lakshmi Samayana, Sri Vandava, Sri Mahaganapati. Ganapati will be installed. And we will go through Shogasa, Upachara, Puja, 16 services performed to Ganapati with the moon of Akra. And that too is unique here. No place in the, any other temple you will you hear the mantra being chanted with this patience. It will be quickly run through. You won't even be able to identify what the syllables are. Okay. After Ganapati is worshipped, next order of business is to install the ten directional deities. That means in this area you open the portals in the east, Indra, southeast, Agni, south, Yama. Southwest Nairvi, West Varuna, Northwest Vayu, North Kumeda, and so on. Above you is Brahma, below Vishnu. So the ten directional deities also will be installed in the water and they will be installed also in the Shankams, the conscious, right handed conscious that are there. Following this, Navagraha Devadas will be installed. Navagraha Devadas also will be installed in the pot. After Navagraha Devadas has been installed and worshipped, then now the retinue, Patini, Putra, Parivara, Agi, the Vahara, Dhanya, Mandala, Samedam, all the deities you can apply this. Patini, in the case of Devi, with Shiva, she is going to be present. She is going to be installed. So when she comes, by the time she comes in, all the big devatas, the Navagrahas, all the other subsidiary deities are already there waiting for her. She is installed in the water. And using Sri Suktam, we are going to worship her with 16 services, Shaurasa Sapachara Buddha. Once the Shaurasa Sapachara is over, the main sponsors will come and sit around the home of and we will perform what is called Bancha Kalpa Ganapati Homo, Namkara Homo, and Sri Sutta Homo, with a view to energize this water that is there in the pot. Then Pancha Suktams will be chanted. Pancha, five Suktams, extractions from the Veda. Into that category fall Rudram, Usha Suktam, Narayana Suttam, Nila Suttam, Sri Suttam, Durga Suttam, these things will be chanted. And at the end of it, after Shoda Samajara Puja is performed, we will be picking up the Kalasams and taking them around the temple in procession. Okay. After that, they will be, the Kalasams will be taken inside the sanctum. And something here that no other temple, to the best of my knowledge, Thus, it will be converted, this water that is in the Kalasam will be converted to Visarasha Arkyam. That Visarasha Arkyam preparation is only known of 
initiated or taught to Sri Nitya Bhaskara. So we will completely convert this into Amritam. And then with that, Amritam daily Abhishekam will take place. After the Abhishekam, we will chant as Amritam to her, Sahasranamam, and then Vidya Arati, and then Anadanam to follow. Okay. Thank you.